62 percent of our cases are less than 18, and we have 16 cases less than 12 months, and we have half male and half female cases. Um, I, I'm looking at this week as uh, a week of, of transition. You see representatives in this room, but this is only the tip of the iceberg of where we have people supporting this event. Hi, I'm Inzun Wong, and I'm the Technical Special Unit Lead. I help coordinate the uh, science activities uh, for the programs and divisions that are currently working in the EOC. The Joint Information Center, which is also known as the JIC, is the communications arm for CDC's Emergency Operations Center. Um, the JIC staff are responsible for implementing CDC's emergency risk communication strategies for all public health emergencies. We've just left the main floor of the Emergency Operations Center and we're now in the area where the team rooms are located. There are approximately 17 team rooms throughout this facility with state-of-the-art equipment. This is where our subject matter experts work to analyze and provide information that will assist us uh, in accomplishing our goals. Well, I'm a map maker, so I'm a little biased about maps, but they convey a lot of information. Um, they're really, you know, uh, information rich, so they can really help decision makers make the correct decision quickly. My job is to come in each morning. I get here about 3.30 or 4, and I compile all the information that goes into the director's brief by 8 o'clock. unit uh, tends to look towards the future of what could be happening with this outbreak. We look to gain an outside perspective on things that CDC may not be considering, kind of making sure that outside perspectives and experts' opinions are included in any decision that CDC is making going forward. What we're doing is we're uploading our information onto a web page, basically, and what that does is it tells what we sent to the states. And uh, every day, we upload that information so that the, uh, the leadership of this organization can be aware of what's going on, what's been sent, what we still have to send in the next couple of days. We have a team of people who work on communications, on quarantine issues, so anything that has to do with travel or coming in through one of our ports of entry, cruises, anything like that. And we also work on what we call community mitigation and the news. Some people are calling it social distancing, but basically keeping sick people isolated and away from other people and, um, and helping people stay healthy by stopping the spread of germs. You're now in the operations section of the Emergency Operations Center. This is the heart and soul of our response activity in that we monitor all actions going on throughout the center from this location. I work for CDC, been here 29 years, emergency response since Hurricane Katrina. This is totally different from any other side of CDC. 
because um, we're actually 24-7. This is the only center at CDCU that we work 24-7. So it's quite different. So the folks in uh, this office are the senior science office, and what we do is help try to coordinate some of the science that's going on in the outbreak, try to coordinate the various activities that the different teams are involved in to try to make sure that the questions are answered correctly, the questions are answered rapidly, and uh, we do good public health.